It's probably one of the most uh, sad stories that um, you're probably going to come across. Mm, let me do some little housekeeping while I got some time here, okay? Um, I want y'all to continue to support the channel. I appreciate everybody who has supported the channel, who has joined um, the channel, uh, and continue to support the channel, if I may ask. Uh, we are looking to do some better things and some get some interviews in, and that can only happen with your support. Um, and also, I would want for y'all to leave a mess uh, comments down below on what type of commentary that y'all want to see more of in 2022. I would really like to hear from uh, my subscribers, the over 2,000 of y'all in here. Um, what would you like to hear? Um, what What's more of um, topics that you would like to participate in? Uh, in terms of, or that you want to hear, uh, would you like to hear, um, you know, stuff about, you know, um, history, government, uh, uh, music, those are the things that you may, um, leave your comment below. And I'm going to try my best to bring some experts in, or even, uh, have a conversation that you can join because that's what we're working on now. We really want to get some lines set up where we can um, converse and um, have better camera, of course. So y'all continue to donate to the channel. I really appreciate each and every one who has. Uh, keep it coming. And um, hopefully I can, um, again, bring some more light into a dark room. Okay, let's just fly over here. Fruit flies driving me nuts. Still didn't get it. Ooh. My reflex is getting bad, y'all. That's all I can say. Anyway, this story right here, um, I'm sure a lot of y'all heard it by now. It just it's 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 so sick. So the um the story that happened in my hometown, Burger King employee was accused of accidentally shooting his 16-year-old co-worker. Uh, he's now in custody, and he's now charged with homicide. Um, so, this guy, let me just read the article, and it's by Elliot Hughes from the Milwaukee Journal. The Journal, the Journal Journal. The Burger King employee accused of accidentally shooting 16-year-old Nisha Harris Brazil has turned himself into authorities while prosecutors filed new homicide, a new homicide charge against him. Before Thursday, Derek D. Ellis, 34 of Milwaukee, faced only a felony charge of possession of a firearm by a convicted out-of-state felon. But after turning himself in Tuesday, he now faces an additional charge of homicide by neglect handling of a dangerous weapon, which comes with a maximum sentence of 10 years. Now, um, Ellis had been sought by police for more than two weeks after he allegedly shot a robbery suspect while working at Burger King, 5120 West Capitol Drive, and inadvertently hit and killed um, this Harris Brazil. Now, last week, the robbery suspect, Antoine Z. Edwards, was charged with felony murder and intentionally contribute to the delinquency of a child with death as a consequence, another felony. Edwards and his own 16-year-old daughter, who is described as Harris Brazil's best friend, told police they coordinated 
with Harris Brazil to stage the robbery in order to steal money, according to the criminal complaint. Now, what kind of father is that? His daughter and Nisha was best friends. His old ass then decided to ruin they, her life, they life, to even put them involved already with that type of thuggery. Right? Then somebody gets killed. Her best friend. The documents show no additional evidence that Brazil Harris conspired with the two on stage robbery. And her family has argued that she had no reason to steal money. Ellis was not in on the stage robbery and fired at the suspect after seeing him leaning into a drive through window and waving a gun around in the direction of Harris, Brazil. Edwards and his daughter did not tell police it was part of a plan for Edwards to lean into the window. Edwards said he did so because Harris Brazil, who was working the drive through register, did not immediately hand over the cash. That's what the court documents say. Now, why didn't she? The incident occurred the evening of January 2nd, shortly after the restaurant closed. Ellis and Edwards are in the Milwaukee County Jail. As of Thursday morning, Ellis did not have a first court appearance and Edwards' cash bill is set at $100,000. Surveillance camera footage shows that as Harris Brazil alerted co-workers to the robbery, a manager at the restaurant called out to Ellis, who usually carried a gun with him to work. Now, it's, uh, appears, it's, it appears that Ellis peered around the door to the driveway area as the robbery suspect waved the gun around and he was about 20 feet away. So Ellis pressed his body against the door and fired one handed from around the corner to the door. Harris Brazil stood in between Ellis and the suspect, and she suffered a gunshot wound to her chest. Damn. Initially, investigators were uncertain whether the robbery suspect returned fire and whose gunshot had actually struck Harris Brazil. But court documents indicate there is no sign that the suspect ever fired his gun. So following the shooting, Ellis is seen on camera crawling on the floor to collect casings ejected from his gun. He then asked the restaurant manager, his live-in girlfriend, to hide the gun in a safe at the restaurant because he was barred from possessing it. She done brought her ass in on this shit. The manager later opened fire, I mean, opened the safe for police, and they recovered a 380 caliber pistol inside. The cases have not been recovered. That's that damn 380, Tracy. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, look at here. If this ain't one of the most sickest stories, you know, but in Milwaukee and all over the world, this is what going on in in um in the in the uh, hood. This is what happens, and that ain't necessarily a hood over there. But uh, I I don't know. It's like, don't you know that is true that for me and for you. 
The world is a ghetto. The whole world is a damn ghetto. So she's dead. And the family is saying she had nothing to do with that. And the brother turned himself in. Okay. The guy turned himself in for shoot. Because he he thought he was trying to protect her. I mean, the story is just bad all the way around. It's just messed up all the way around. He called himself stopping a burglary. But he shouldn't have had the gun because he a felon. But everybody packing. Everybody got a pistol. And the philosophy seems to be, when you give up yours, I'll give up mine. So he walk into a situation where everybody got a damn gun. Somebody shooting at the cashier. He busts back. And he accidentally hit her. Now, he shouldn't have had a gun. He turned himself in. She's dead. The daughter and the father are in police custody. And it's all from Tom fuck foolery. My heart go out to the family. I'm going to keep y'all updated on this story. Because it's really sick and it's sad. With that being said, y'all got some stories you want to send me that you know is straight for the crazy house. Send them to me. Send them to me at um, mentalhousetv at gmail.com. That's mentalhousetv at gmail.com. And I'll be glad to discuss it. And we can talk about it. All right, y'all. I'll see you in the next video.